Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question is from the topic of complex numbers. And in this question, we have been told that we need to find a complex number Z that is provided by satisfying the equations that is given to us. One equation that is given is Z minus 12, Z minus 8i that is equal to five by three. And the other equation that is given to us says Z minus four upon Z minus eight, that's equal to one. So we need to find a complex number such that it satisfies both of these equations. So let's understand how to solve this question. First thing if I can do here is I can write this Z, which is a complex number as X plus I, Y where x is the real part of the complex number and i y which is present with i so that is the imaginary part of the complex number so here if i write the first equation i have it as z minus 12 upon z minus 8 i that's equal to 5 by 3 so if i write it here it becomes 3 z i can write as x plus i y minus 12 that's equal to 5 Z is X plus IY minus 8. So I get it here as 3. X minus 12 this is the real part. And IY. Here I have 5. X and plus Y minus 8. With I which is imaginary part. So now I can square both of the sides. If I square both of the sides I can write 3 square that is 9. So I am squaring both of the sides and when I square this entire complex number we know it is nothing but square of the modulus, right? So square of the modulus is nothing but x minus 12 the whole square plus y square. Here again 5 square that's 25 and you get your x square plus y minus 8 the whole square, right? So this is my one equation. So I will mark this as equation 1. We get an equation which is in terms of x and y. Let's solve the other equation also and try to find the equation for x and y and then we'll solve both of these and get the values of x. So first thing, if I write the other equation that's also given to me as z minus 4 upon z minus 8, that is equal to 1. So I can write this as mod of z minus 4 and that's equal to mod of z minus 8. Z is nothing but again a complex number x plus i y. So you get x plus i y minus x plus minus. So you get here as x minus 4 plus i y. And this is x minus 8 plus. So mod of x minus 8 plus i y and mod of x minus 4 plus i y that is nothing but moduluses are equal. So when the modulus are equal, you can write this again. I can square both of the sides. So I get this as x minus 4 the whole square plus y square. That's equal to x minus 8 the whole square plus y square. Now one thing I can note down from here that is if I take that y square on the other side, y square and y square becomes y square minus y square. So it is 0. So I can directly cancel this. Further, if I try to solve this idea, I get this as x minus 4 the whole square so x square minus 8x plus 16 and here I get that as x square minus 16x plus 16. So further if I solve this I get x square and x square becoming 0. x square minus x square again becomes 0 and you get here further it as 16x minus 8x that is 64 minus 16. So 8x is equal to 48 and here I get x is equal to 48 by 8, that is 6. Okay. So we get the value of x as 6. Now once I get the value of x as 6, if I put that value of x as 6 in the first equation and I can solve it further to get y, so 9 
Fabert x as 6 becomes 6 minus 12, so minus 6 the whole square, that is 36 plus y square. That's equal to 25. Again, x square, so x is 6, so 6 square plus y minus 8 the whole square. Further, I can write this as 9 into 36 plus 9y square. That is 25 into 36 plus 25 into y minus 8 the whole square is y square minus 16y plus 16. Right? So let's try to solve this further. Now we have only one unknown that is y. So we will try to simplify this idea and find the value of y. Once we get the value of y, we have the complex number with us. So let's do that. So I'll write that equation which we had. So 9 into 36 plus 9y square. That is equal to, we had 25 into 36. And 25 into y square minus 16y plus 16. So if I solve this further, 36 into 9, or I can take here 36 is present in both the sides, so I can take the entire thing here. So if I write this as zero, 25y square and plus 9y square, if it comes here, becomes 9y square minus 9y square minus 25 into 16y. So 25 into 8 is 200, 25 into 16 is 400, so minus 400y. And plus, we get here. 25 into 64 and we have here 36 I am taking common so we are left with 25 minus 9 so that is 16. so you get here 25 minus 19 is 16 y square minus 400 y plus 25 into 64 plus 36 into 16 so 64 into 25 25 into 4 is 100 25 into 6 is 150 and this is 10, so 160. This is 1600 plus 26 into 16. 16, 6 is 96. 16, 3 is 48 and 957, so 576. That's it. So if I divide this further, I can also divide this. I can divide this entire equation. First, let's simplify this idea. 16 by square minus 400 by. Here we get 1600 plus 576. So 2176. That's equal to. So now if I try to do division of this. If, let's see if I can divide this also by 16. So I get 16 ones is 16. 57. 16. Threes are 48. So 96. And we have here 96. So 16. 6 are 96. So if I divide throughout my quadratic equation by 16, it's divisible. So let's divide it. Y square minus 16, 2 is 32, 80, 16, 5. So you get Y square minus 25Y plus 136. Now I can split 136 as, if I divide this by 17, I think 17, 8 is 136. And 17 plus 8 also gives me 25. Split my middle term as minus 17y minus 8y plus 136 is equal to 0. Taking common from both of these terms, I get y, y minus 7. Here I have 8 common, y minus 17 again is equal to 0. So you have y minus 17, you have y minus 8 is equal to 0. If I further solve this, equating both of them with 0, I get y as 17 or so I had x as 6, but I have two answers for y. It can be 17 or 8. So he's asking me to find the complex number and getting the complex number as x plus i1. That is 6 plus 8i or I get this as 6 plus 7. So two ideas for the same complex number. So we get two answers in this case. So complex number which satisfies both of these ideas are 6 plus 8i and 6 plus 17. And if you see the options which matches here with the answer is A and D. So there are two answers to this question. So it has a multiple answer question. 
and we have two answers in this case that is a as well as b so both of them are correct here i hope you have understood how to solve these types of questions with complex numbers i'll meet you again tomorrow with the next question till then you can like share and subscribe to my channel Also share these videos with your friends who are also involved in the preparation of IIT JEE. Thank you.